Okay, Daniel, this is uh, what I've been able to uh, like you to try before we meet. See if you had any success for this. Um, we need to remove com Pro Tools completely from your system and then reinstall. So I'm going to walk you through most of it, show you where you can get a hold of it. Um, so anyway, here's I'm going to share my screen here. Um, two things. Uh, I thought I didn't know this one closed down on me, so hold on. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so I did a search in Google how to um, completely uninstall Pro Tools. And you want to use this top one up here. How do I remove Pro Tools? And there's a video that walks you through it here. So, but basically, I'm going to show you how to do this, but you can watch that video. Um, there's a couple issues. Uh, we'll watch this together. How to uninstall Pro Tools in Windows. Open the Apps and Features settings. Okay. Select Avid Pro Tools from the list and click Uninstall. In some cases, the option is grayed out, so it is impossible to uninstall it using the standard procedure. To fix it, open Programs and Features from the Control Panel. Select Avid Pro Tools from the list, then click Change. Follow the on-screen instructions. Uninstallation complete. Okay. So, to do that, so this is a couple things you want. You can, you can do it this way. And I had trouble. It was grayed out. So I hit um, my set into my settings window over here. I'm off of my start window. Apps, uninstall, defaults, and etc. So you this will populate. So if I come down here and look, find my Avid Pro Tools, you'll have, hopefully you have this. It's grayed out here. Okay, if it's not, go ahead and hit uninstall. But if it is like mine, then you're going to have to go someplace do this you're gonna have to go over into um i just typed in my bottom left corner i said um control panel the control panel app and i could so you go here and then you hit uninstall a program click on that come down to your avid pro tools and then say change and that will uninstall it that's the only thing you pretty much have to do if that doesn't work then there's one other thing i thought we'd have to do so um just type avid control panel down in that top bottom left window find avid pro tools and then hit change and then select remove okay i'm not doing that but hopefully that'll get you through it and uh, then i would reinstall I had a fresh, clean Pro Tools at that point, and you should not get that message then. If you do, then there's one other place we can look to find out a, a file that did not get removed. So um, I think that's the problem, and um, hopefully this will um, solve it. And uh, try that first, and then we can talk tomorrow if you want. All right. Good luck.